Okay, what is the best drone for inspections, you ask? This question is almost like asking what is the best mobile phone in the world? There isn't a blanket answer. It depends on your needs, your budgets, workflow, if you're an Apple fanboy, or if you want a big screen, or if you want to drop $2,000 on a phone, then go for it. Now in regards to drone inspections, this video I'm gonna break down all the most popular drones that can be used for inspection work. I'm gonna talk about their features, their price points starting from 500 bucks right up to $40,000. And then hopefully this video will help you decide what will work for you in terms of your needs and your budget. Now, believe it or not, a $500 drone can be used for commercial work. Let me explain. For this video, first, I need to be clear as to what I mean by inspections. I'm referring to visual inspections in multi-rotors. I'm not talking about LiDAR, I'm not talking about thermal or gas detection and stuff. One of the most common uses for drones today in the commercial space is for inspection services. The technology has advanced so much over the years. They can carry out some pretty impressive work, adding various payloads like high-powered zoom lenses, autonomously fly above and under structures, you can create 3D models with them, and so much more. If you're looking at getting into drone inspections for your business, or if you work for a company that's looking at onboarding drones, this video is for you. So, let's start with the cheapest and most accessible. So from $500 onwards, in November 2020, DJI brought out a consumer entry-level drone called the Mavic Mini 2. Now you must be thinking, Aaron, you can't be serious. This is a sub $500 drone. My mom could fly it. But the crazy thing is, you can actually conduct commercial visual inspections with this drone. Now let's first define what a visual inspection is. So to simply put, a visual inspection is visual testing or VT, and it's the oldest and most basic method of inspection. It's the process of looking over a piece of equipment, structure, or asset using the naked eye to look for flaws or areas of interest. It requires no equipment except for the naked eye of a trained inspector. So it may be someone getting on a ladder or a cherry picker and getting a closer look at something, or they may snap a photo with their phone or small camera for their maintenance reports. Now, if the deliverables is this simple, why not use a small consumer drone like the Mavic Mini. It's small, it's lightweight, now it shoots 4K and RAW images. There's obstacle avoidance sensors, it can return to home, it's safe, and in some countries, aviation laws means that you might not need a full license to fly this commercially. There's even some exemptions where you can fly this drone in controlled airspaces. So just because it's small and old mate down the road flies it with his kids, don't completely dismiss this drone. It can still be worth having in your kit. Or if you just need a quick visual of checking gutters or tiles, or even need to read a barcode from a solar panel, then this is a perfect drone for you. Let me explain a case study of just how much money you could bring in from this drone. Now we were approached by a council and they asked if we could assist them in a routine monthly inspection of their parks, public spaces, toilet blocks, and so on. Now in total, there was about 450 to do each month. These range from tiny toilet blocks in public spaces to really large sporting grounds right up to large community halls. So first we looked at the M200 as an option, which is large, it's impressive, it's got multiple batteries, payloads, and it can carry a high powered thermal and zoom cameras if you need, but here's the but. When they started discussing the deliverables and reporting, it was just images they wanted so they could add it to their routine report and say it's been done. So a big tick at the end, that's all. The time and running cost to use a M200 for this operation would be such an inefficient process. So for the cost of one single M200 battery, we could buy a Mavic Mini 2. So in summary of this case study, some inspection jobs that just require basic imagery and video deliverables, a Mavic Mini 2 might actually be your secret weapon, or even the Mavic 2 Pro. Unless, of course, you would like to flex and impress your clients, then go for an M300. On the same note of basic imagery and video inspections, you could consider the Mavic Air 2S. Right now, this is sitting just under the thousand US dollar mark and it's packed with the latest tech. The 2S now boasts a one inch sensor, 20 megapixel camera and 12 kilometer range with obstacle sensing in all direction. It records 
8K video and has ADS-B or AirSense. If you do real estate or creative work, you can also use this drone for that as it has all the automatic capturing features called master shots. This is a great versatile drone for both basic inspections and creative work. Another consumer drone you could consider that starts from $1,000 is the Mavic 2 Zoom. This is a fantastic little drone that has zoom capabilities at 12 megapixels, which could be perfect for those type of inspection work that may not be safe to fly too close, such as power lines. It has a one over 2.3 inch sensor with up to four times zoom, including a two times optical zoom. This Mavic 2 Zoom is also available in the Enterprise range, which is in the next price bracket, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Then we also have a new kit on the block, which is worth looking into, the Skydio 2. American built and manufactured, which isn't the only reason why it's gaining popularity, actually has an incredible technology built in. It has a better obstacle avoidance system than DJI, covering a full 360 degrees, and they are right now heavily investing a lot of money into R&D in the enterprise space. They just announced their recent 3D scanning software called Skydio 3D Scan. So Skydio 3D Scan, put simply, is just incredible. It's designed to let the drone do all the thinking and all the work for you. Simply select the structure first and it will fly over there whilst analyzing its surroundings and in real time it will start covering the structure with photos at an incredible speed and precision. Then when it's done, you'll get perfectly taken photos at the correct distance for your 3D model every time. So right now everything kind of still looks like it's in beta, including some of their new release thermal and drone software. Like when you click on the more info, it takes you to a PDF on their Google Drive. I'm sure that will change soon. Right now you can purchase the Skydio 2 for a thousand US dollars and start doing some basic inspections and 3D modeling right from the get go. But be sure to keep an eye out for them. They've been producing some really cool stuff lately and I'm sure there'll be more great things from them coming out soon. All right, next price bracket from $2,000 onwards. This price bracket, I would consider the Mavic 2 Pro or the Phantom 4 Pro. These two drones are brilliant and both are similar in specs. Both drones have a great camera, great megapixel count, which makes it very versatile, not just for inspections, but also general photography and video. They both have a one inch sensor, 20 megapixels, they both shoot 4K. The Phantom can actually do 4K at 60 frames, although neither of them have a zoom function. But because of the higher megapixel count, you can perform desktop zooming without any issues. And you'll be surprised how sharp it is when you actually zoom into 100%. Another great use for these drones, especially the Phantom, is that you can conduct mapping and surveying using software like Drone Deploy, Pix4D, or propeller to automate your flight and capture images. This data is then stitched to form a high resolution 2D map or 3D image of a structure. With the Phantom 4, although it's an older aircraft, it is still the industry standard for mapping inspections and surveying. It is still our workhorse and we use it all the time. It's such a great drone and plenty on the secondhand market as well if you are interested in grabbing a bargain. Next price bracket, $2,500 US onwards. All right, at the higher end of this price range, if you want to focus on roof, gutter, solar, and power line inspections, I would recommend you go with the Mavic 2 Enterprise. Now, there are two in this series, the M2 Dual, which has a small thermal radiometric camera. It's not amazing, it still does the trick. And the other one has zooming capabilities. Let's talk briefly about the zoom version. This is a fantastic little drone, similar to the Mavic Zoom that I explained earlier, but it has added security. It uses a different app and comes with bolt-on modules like a beacon, spotlight, speaker, and so on. This drone can be used for all sorts of applications such as search and rescue and inspections. It also has GPS and timestamping hard-coded into the images and it's password protected for all the sensitive data you are collecting for your clients. Now the next jump in price, you're looking at the larger sub seven kilo drones, which can be quite a costly package when you include battery sets, accessories, hard cases, lenses, and all those other bits and pieces. Now the Inspire 2 is an industry standard for mid to high end video production. It's fast, it's quick to set up, shoots ProRes, Cine DNG formats, and has interchangeable lenses. Speaking of interchangeable lenses, this is where you can use the Inspire 2 for inspection work. Now the best kept secret in this drone is two different lenses that you can use. 
the 45 mil Olympus lens and the 45 to 175 Panasonic lens on the X5S camera. On the Panasonic 45 to 175, it has a variable aperture and you will need to balance this with some counterweights, but you not only get a super sharp 20 megapixel photo, but the image equivalent is to a 350 mil telephoto lens on a full frame camera. The zoom is incredible. The Olympus lens is equivalent to a 90 mil full frame lens. It's very affordable and it's really good in low light as it opens up to a 1.8 aperture. This drone and lens setup is great, especially for those that already have an Inspire 2 in their kit for film and photography work. We use the Inspire 2 on actually a lot of inspection work. We've done chimney stacks, facades, roofs, gutters, telecom towers, power lines. It's a great lens and camera setup without having to get too close to the asset. And also we've noticed the battery time is much better than an M200. So consider the Inspire 2 Pro. All right, $6,000 onwards. Now we're getting to the fun stuff and playing with the pros. The M200 series is often a weapon of choice as it's not only impressive to look at, yes, impressing clients is actually important, talk about that later but it can also carry three payloads including a top mounted camera for all those hard to reach shots like under bridges the m200s use the tb50 batteries which is the same as the inspire 2s they also take the tb55s which is a larger battery with slightly more flight time it takes two batteries per flight so in the one set flying time now we're getting is about 15 minutes on each set now, if you're shooting all day, this can get quite costly as you'll need to invest in more batteries. This drone opens up some really great opportunities though, as you can add some really fantastic payloads such as the Z30, which is only a two megapixel camera, but it has a whopping 30 times optical zoom. This zoom is great for three industries in particular, HV power lines, line of sight, telco, and of course, search and rescue. Now other payloads which bolt on quite nicely on this drone is the X-T2 FLIR thermal camera and also the X-5S camera. Now this camera is compatible with the 45mm lens, the 15mm, the big boy 45 to 175 Panasonic as mentioned before. And because it's a micro four thirds camera, you can use most of the other micro four thirds lenses. $20,000 onwards. This is an interesting drone and concept. Introducing the Elios 2. This is basically a little drone trapped in a cage or in a ball. Why? Well, it's collision proof. It's designed for you to throw it down boilers, tunnels and confined spaces without crashing into anything. You can fly it without GPS lock. You can fly it in the dark, in the smallest and deepest spaces never possible with a DJI drone. This drone has a 12 megapixel camera, thermal camera, 4K recording plus 10,000 lumens of LED lighting. There's plenty of other features like 3D modeling and measuring tools, but this is just a fantastic little drone for these indoor and confined space inspection jobs. The price for this is a little expensive for what it is. After all, it is just a stripped back drone in a little cage, but that's just my opinion. So the pricing for this drone took me about an hour to find it on their website. When I finally did, I had to enter my email address and then I downloaded a PDF which had all the price lists on it. The basic package starts from $35,000 and ranges to $49,000 US dollars. Now this is not including all the other add-ons they give you like training, there's software, there's yearly licensing and much more. A little bit of a pricey one that one. All right, then still staying with this price bracket, we also have the big boy, the M300 RTK, which is arguably probably the most advanced enterprise drone on the market. Realistically, this is around a $30,000 package, so just plan for that as you'll need more than one set of battery. Also your camera choice, hard case, the RTK system, and all the other accessories that go with that. Although if you're a serious operator, this is worth every cent. It covers such a huge range of industries. The new camera options is just nothing short of incredible. It carries four sensors on the H20T, including a 20 megapixel camera, a zoom lens at 20 times optical. There's also a wide angle at 12 megapixels, laser measuring tool, AI technology, which is automated flight and capture sequence, has 
a radiometric thermal camera. There's so much. It's just jam packed with so much tech. Now just released, there's also two new cameras called the P1 and the L1 for their mapping and LiDAR solutions. It's a super impressive machine and has way more features which we will dive deeper in along with everything you need to know about drone inspections in our masterclass courses. If you haven't already heard about it, we cover inspections for all industry types including roofs, power lines, telco, insurance, and you'll also get access to our industry insights. Everything we've learned over the years at your fingertips. We also have a how-to section which goes deeper into each operation type. We talk about the gear you need, how to win work, all the different types of software that's out there, and of course, very popular, our job shadows. I hope this video has given you a good idea of all the different types of drones out there for inspection work and their price points. I hope it's helped. Don't forget to check out DroneMasterclassAcademy.com. See you guys in the next one.